Hello everyone, I'm recording this video for something I just thought of. And I was reminded of this by Frankie on PC in 1080p, and it's already in the game, but it got removed because of its lack of functionality, and that's skill sets when you spawn. I think there should be some passive bonuses and passive negatives to skill sets. For example, doctors would be valuable. That they would be something that's very valuable in the game because they can heal you better. Like I'm sure everyone at some point has gotten a broken leg somehow. It's happened to me several times out of stupidity, but it happens. You break your leg and you're hobbling around if you because I don't carry a splint around with me, even though I'm probably gonna start in case. But most people don't carry a splint around because they don't think about it. <laughs> So what if there's a bigger penalty for that? You break your leg. Instead of having to wait 60 seconds for you to splint, how about you wait 15 minutes for it to heal? This would make doctors much more valuable. In when you use a splint, you get a two-minute reduction time to being having a broken leg, and it appears on your character when you have a broken leg. So you'll see a splint on a character that has a broken leg and has a splint on it. Now, you can't use more than one splint, so you're stuck there for 13 minutes with a broken leg. But if a doctor put a splint on, now it's a 10-minute reduction, so you only have to wait 5 minutes. While also a doctor can heal you much more, while a standard character could get 5 HP from a bandage and 30 HP from a med kit, a doctor can give you 15 HP from a bandage and 75 from a med kit. This way, doctors are a very high value. They can also reduce your sickness uh, quicker than you can. So you will gain, like if someone uses a med kit, a doctor uses a med kit on you, you lose sickness much more than you would have. Like let's say you can reduce it by 30, and a doctor can do it by 75, I guess. Same for pills, they'll have better effects. Like if he gives you an adre adrenaline shot, it effects last longer and have a higher bonus, while painkillers have a better bonus. Well, I don't know about painkillers. I'm not sure. That, that can be a afterthought for a while. <laughs> But there are several other things, like the doctor also would get a negative of having a slower reload and more recoil from guns. This makes him more of a healer than a combatant. I mean, he can still fight, it's not a dramatic difference, but it can change a fight up. This would give value to diversity, so like having all doctors in your group not a good idea. Having all mechanics, all soldiers, all teachers, so on, bad idea. <clears throat> the second I, second class I thought up of was the mechanic. I didn't really think this through, but a mechanic can heal a car to 100% hit points. <clears throat> but a normal per a player cannot. They can only heal for a max of 50. So if a car is at 65% health, that, that player cannot heal it past 50. But a mechanic can heal it fully. And if there's car parts added like engines and wheels, then it would take a mechanic to repair the engine and repair the fuel tank to max. While if you're a standard player, you can repair it to 50%. <clears throat> you can of course change the wheels normally. That does not take a mechanic. You can also put a wheel on and it'll be 100% HP, depending on how damaged that wheel is. Uh, I, I'm sure a question I might get is, will a mechanic ha like be able to carry more fuel in a jerry can? No, that does not take a special skill to fill up a jerry can and fill up a car. Uh, next would be a construction worker. I didn't really think him through either, but his general idea is he can craft items for less material. So let's say it takes 10 locks to make a wall by a standard player. 
it will take a construction worker seven or five logs, depending on how balanced he's going to be, instead. A lumberjack, that another, like some of these characters, or some of these classes are just quickly thought up. So, like, I didn't think them through at all. But, like, a lumberjack, he cuts trees down faster and gets more material per tree. Uh, teacher, though, her his or her downside would be weaker like you you're not as durable as everyone else your hunger and thirst goes up fast you have less stamina and you have less hit points not by a large amount you may have 10 or so less hit points and you may have a bit of a like maybe 10 less stamina but that's fine <laughs> but you have lower xp caps for skills so like it takes less xp to learn a skill for you than a player of that same level. So let's say you're learning level one first aid. It, let's say the standard is 50. It'll take you 30 XP to learn that. Which doesn't seem like much of a difference. I think it's actually a 40% difference right there. <clears throat> uh, but still, that is a big difference when you start getting to the higher level stuff and it starts causing hundreds. Back to uh, the teacher, you also gain XP faster. What makes a teacher useful, though? That seems like a very selfish uh, class. Well, it, gains, it grants a passive bonus XP. So if someone within a certain range of you kills a zombie or gains XP in any form, they gain an increased amount of experience. And... That, that would make them pretty useful. Like, let's say you just, like, your friend died or something, or someone in your group died, and they came back, and you found them again, and they need to level up. Like, you could let them kill the zombies, you could be around them if you're a teacher, and you could effectively teach them. But there are other classes I thought up of, like a soldier, and that's kind of it. Like, literally. Literally, that was it, honestly. But, like, a soldier would get bonus to guns. And, they like, faster reload, lower recoil. They would also be able to repair guns for less materials. Like, let's say it takes five scrap metal to repair your pistol. A soldier can do it in three or four. Um, if a soldier is using a gun, like, let's say my idea for the durability system is added. There's a lower chance that will break. Because, I mean, soldiers are taught to take care of their guns, so a soldier using a gun will lower, will lose durability slower, and he will have less chance of the gun breaking. What is his da Also, he's more durable. So, like, so far he seems overpowered. The problem is, he gains XP the slowest, cl he's the slowest learning XP in the game. I completely butchered up that uh, grammar right there. But he, he earns XP the l slowest out of anyone in the game. <clears throat> His XP caps are higher. <clears throat> so it takes 50, for a standard player, it takes 50 XP to learn a uh, for level 1 first aid. It will take the soldier uh, 70 XP, which is a 40% increase. But he also is less uh, productive in other skills. So even if your your soldier is level five first aid against a normal person that's level five first aid, the soldier still heals for less. Since that that would sort of balance him out, in my opinion, a bit. But that was basically all I wanted to say. I want to say thanks for watching, and hopefully this idea gets thought of, and the creator will put it in some form. Because I would like to see it so it's less ki kill on sight and more of a group thing. Since, I mean, honestly, in real life, you don't shoot everyone you see in a survival scenario. They may have a useful skill that you could use. Or they, they would make a great companion. So, yeah, that's a thought. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.